I'm honored to be here today to help you dedicate this Lord Memorial, honoring big graduates who fell in the service to our nation. On Friday morning, the Duke community paid tribute to alumni who have lost their lives in military service since World War II. The names of 54 servicemen were added to the existing memorial outside the Duke Chapel. We're proud to honor the graduates who gave their lives in defense of this country and its ideas. And we're humbled to honor their families, many of them with us today, who live with the pride of loss and the only change in their lives. Addressing a crowd of almost 300 people, University President Richard Broadhead and U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs Eric Shinseki used Friday's dedication to comment on the benefits and the obstacles experienced by veterans who seek their education after they return from service. All of them are carrying uh, you know, their, their experiences with them coming from uh, combat and they're going to have to uh, transition uh, back into this location. But, uh, into this environment, but the fact that they are in a structured program, in classes, uh, you know, uh, achieving uh, uh, objectives is wonderful. I mean, that's part of what uh, the transition requires. They're going to be great students, uh, both in the classroom and uh, uh, for your for your Duke student body. No doubt, their education transformed them as it has transformed generations of our students. They were shaped in part by their experience at this campus and their relationship with teachers and mentors and friends as they have been shaped We recognize in them the belief in putting service before self that is at this university's core. May the university remind all that our freedom was purchased by scholars like these who gave their models Reporting for the Chronicle, this is Ali Prater.